Dear Gwit Agus Fáilte Go Kildamona uh, I'd like to welcome everyone here to Kildamona today for our great occasion to mark the 100th anniversary of the great Mike McTighg who became a world champion 100 years ago yesterday on St. Patrick's Day an event that we're all very proud of here in Kildamona and we wanted to do something to mark this, o this occasion about four years ago I met my cousin Kevin he's standing around there somewhere Kevin Rin there, he lives in Cusick Road, always a good place to go if you want a cup of tea. <laughs> Kevin and I, you know, is the kettle of Ireland. But we were having a cup of tea and Kevin said to me, you know, it's only a few years away from the uh, 100th anniversary. And uh, we had a chat and we decided we'd do something to mark the occasion. Um, rather, I suppose, uh, wittingly, we got Michael McTighe renowned sculptor and also a relative of Mike McTighe. We got him on board uh, probably that evening I'd say. Uh, we also in, uh, invited um, Antoinette McCormick here and <laughs> Randy's okay the mistakes are, are starting already to come on board with us and Antoinette uh, has been fantastic as well. Uh, we, we asked Senator Claire Coral Mullay who is the Mayor of Innes as well to give us some guidance uh, with planning etc uh, she's done more than that she's made a great donation to us and did fantastic work and came on board with us as well and uh, also to thank Kevin Keane the musicians are too, too numerous to uh, mention every one of the musicians who came and played for us in the Grove Bar in Innes and in the Good House in Aina but I will mention three and that's uh, Nola Haher Patrick O'Loughlin and Cyril Cullinan uh, they play for every event in Kildamona. I remember them playing here in 1995 when we won the Munster title and we'll talk about that a little later on. But three great uh, kept the tradition of music and culture alive here in Kildamona. We're really grateful Patrick is here and Newell is here and Cyril is here as well. I actually played with Cyril but we won't talk about that too much. Uh, <laughs> Uh, there's an awful lot of people to thank, and uh, I, I'm not going to. I just thank the members of the Oireachtas who came here today, and members of the Clare County Council, Mary and, and all the rest that, that came out here to be with us today. It's great to have you here, and you're all so, so very welcome. And um, there's one person down there who I want to thank as well, and that's my old schoolmaster, Jim McMahon, who is here. And Jim has been an integral part of this parish since the day I was born, since before I was born, I'd say. He has given such a huge amount and he wrote a great book about Kildamona and welcome Jim. I hope you don't keep me back this evening after 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 this. Um, I, I also want to welcome another man who has did a huge amount of work here in this parish and that's Father Sean Sexton. Thank you very much uh, Father for coming here. He, he's going to bless the stone afterwards. Michael McTighe has asked me to wish his wife, uh, um, Sheila, it's her it was her birthday yesterday, so Sheila, we're a day late, but we're not a dollar short. Happy birthday. <laughs> I'd like to thank Kevin's daughter, Ashley, who was the Grand Marshal yesterday in the, in the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Innes. And uh, Ashley, you did the family really proud. We were you, we just, we picked you because you were the best looking one of the rings. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> so thanks very much, uh, for Ashley, for that. Well done, and uh, I thank MJ McTighe as well for the, his care. You can't see it now, but MJ had the care and the float just as well, and it was a great addition. Thanks, MJ, for that. Uh, I, I'm not going to go on too much. I didn't write any speech really because I really I can't read my own writing anyone number one, but. Uh, um, I just want to tell you a story about a boxer who went out into the middle of the ring. He was going fighting in a, in a fight, and lads, you might know this one. He he he, go, he goes out into the middle of the ring, and he blesses himself. And there was a young fellow above in the in the in the stand, with, and he said to his father, he said, "Is God going to win the fight for him?" And his father said, "He will." He said, "If he can box." <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. We have a few very special people we'd like you uh, to meet, and the first one is Mel Crystal, who is an, um, uh, was an outstanding boxer. They created history, himself and his two brothers. They won three titles on the same day. It's a fantastic achievement. And I just asked Mel to say a few words for us and maybe introduce these two great boxers who are standing here beside us as well. These are our professional boxers. Just be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Um, firstly, it's more on an oar than show in you. Con glock apart er an oakoid show. Mel Crystal is my name. I'm the uh, president of the uh, Boxing Union of Ireland, which is the professional controlling body for boxing in Ireland. And uh, I wouldn't have missed this for the world because in this little village we are commemorating a man who was involved in history not only in boxing history but look around the actual fight itself the color bar was still in place a black man couldn't fight for or defend a world title back then Batlin Siki, who was Senegalese by birth, which had been uh, colonized by the French, he was, at that time, the best light heavyweight professional boxer in the world. The British Empire wouldn't allow him to defend his title on any of their terrain. Fortunately, we had got part of our freedom in 1923 and as a consequence there was a promoter, a Mr Purcell in Dublin, who saw the opportunity to put on a world title fight which would break the colour bar and allow Battling Siki to defend against an Irishman. Mike McTighe. The great Mac Mike McTighe was therefore involved in a, a, so, a, a historical break of huge social consequences. Here was an Irishman fighting a coloured fighter in Dublin for a world title. The second amazing piece of history about Mike McTighe is that this fight occurred in the teeth of the Civil War. There were bullets flying in O'Connell Street, even on the day of the fight itself. Both fighters had to be protected and chaperoned and brought to Scala Theatre for, and surrounded by troops by the way in order to make it to the Scala Theatre for the fight itself. And then to trump it all, Mike McTighe, this tough Clareman, this gifted Clareman, ripped the world title from Battle and Siki who was at the time regarded as one of the all-time greats. Mike held on to that title for three years. That's no mean achievement. And what is even more incredible, and uh, I've only realized this reading into the, the man's history, he had a, a rejuvenation when he lost his uh, light heavyweight title and he fought some of the most legendary fighters and beat them after losing his world light heavyweight title. This is a man who beat Jack Sharkey. This is a man who beat young Stribling and, and literally had to be chased or, or had to be protected and got out of the town having beaten young Stribling. Such was the, uh, the threat to his life and to the referee's life when uh, Mike was given the decision in young Stribling's hometown. So Mike McTighe had an amazing life and where did he come from? Ireland. And where in Ireland did he come from? 
kill Namona. It's incredible. Also, here to honour the, uh, we say, the sport of boxing, a hero such as Mike McTighe, and also to show that boxing continues in Ireland, both uh, as an amateur code and as a professional code. We have Ed, Edward and Paddy Donovan, unbeaten professionals from Limerick, who have come here to honour the great Mike McTighe. I can assure you, you will hear a lot more about Paddy and Edward in the near future. And in fact, next Saturday, Edward fights a Tanzanian Mutalemwa in Dublin in the, in the National Stadium, which is the citadel of boxing in, in Ireland as, as, a, as a venue. And uh, mark my words, both, both Donovan, uh, Donovans will make it to the very top, maybe not as high as Mike, Mike McTighe made it, but I'll tell you what, they will leave very little to chew in their uh, attempts at gaining European and world glory. Another reason um, I am glad to be here is your, as, as a county, you drip music. You're a fantastic uh, group. I, the, the, people from County Clare have a great musical, cultural and sporting tradition. And Mike McTighe is just an example, a stellar example of that. But as a county, you are a non-pareil. Your ability in music, your ability in literature, your ability in sport um, is very hard to match throughout Ireland. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks very much, Bill. Uh, uh, lovely words. I just asked the two fighters to come up here and join me here, uh, Patrick and, and Edward. Uh, it's great to have you. Maybe you'd like to say a few words. It's, it's great uh, to have you. I was going to spare with these two lads, but I'm a couple of ways up from them, so I'll, they'll have to. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Can I just. Can sorry. Mike, Mike oh. McTighe was a light heavyweight. Here is the Celtic light heavyweight champion, Jamie Morrissey from Limerick. First of all, we'd like to thank Mel Crystal and Irish Boxing for the invite and the McTighe family. Um, it's a privilege to be here, being a young fighters. Been a 9 0 professional fighter, Edward is 5 0 professional fighter, and Jamie undefeated 5 0. Um, three sparring partners, three great friends, and um, we've got very big connections here in Clare. I get to see old, some old faces, Cullen Flynn and Ollie Markin in the background. My dad's old coaches in Innes Boxing Club. So, yeah, it's a privilege to be here. Mike was a tremendous fighter became a world champion and as fighters we know how tough it is to become a, a champion and there's a lot of hard work and dedication goes into that and hopefully someday we can reach our goals to become a world champion it's a great turnout thank you all for turning out it's great to see some young kids here hopefully Claire can uh, get a new world champion in the next couple of years it's been a hundred years so I think we deserve another one soon <laughs> so hopefully um, this inspires them to push on train hard get in the gym and become the next champion. So guys, thank you all for the invite. And um, yeah, best wishes. So I'm gonna leave it to my brother Edward to say a few words. And the newly crowned champion, Jimmy Morrissey. Thank you guys. Thanks very much. Hi guys, how's everything? 
Um, I want to thanks, thank Mel Crystal for a beautiful speech. I want to thank everybody uh, for the invite here today. Uh, to see the revival of the Mike Matig, uh, an Irish legend. Uh, just great to be a fighter coming through. Hopefully to get where he get, get in life. That's to be a world champion. That's what it's all about. Um, I want to thank everybody today and I'm fighting in the 1st of April in the National Stadium in Dublin. So tune in and watch it. Thank you all guys. Yeah, lads, uh, just great to see everyone here. Uh, it's great to wear a sport like boxing can bring a community together. And it's an honour uh, to be here, to ask to be here with the two lads, tr uh, two great mates. And uh, I'm half a clear man myself, my old lads from the bridge, uh, Hurlers <laughs> Cross, Rampo Rally. So I'm um, absolutely honoured to be here. Uh, and like I said, uh, look at the way a sport brings a community together. So it's great to be part of this. Thanks to, uh, to everyone for coming. God bless. Thanks, folks. Thank you. Three, three great ambassadors of the sport. Uh, the lads are, are fighting on April's Fool's Day. I think it would be foolish men to take him on in the ring myself personally, but but there you go. Um, it's great to Colin Flynn and Ali Markham. They are two uh, outstanding men. Uh, call them in Hurland as well, but in boxing, uh, they've kept uh, the sport alive here, especially in Innocent County Clare. You're very welcome, lads. Good to see you, Ali, looking so fit and so well, and Colin Flynn as well. Uh, there's just a couple of people. I want to thank the KDA, the Kildare Development Association, uh, for their work and they helped us out in the hall today as well, and uh, they've given us a hand along the way. I'd like to, I'd like to thank Kildare National School and um, our, our new principal there, Carmel, for everything you've done. And I know the lads are going to put on a, your pupils are going to put on a bit of music for us after, and we're delighted with that, Carmel. Thanks very much. Uh, and I want to thank Oliver Michigan, Lauren Club and Paul Gannon and the lads for the great work they've done and I want to thank them for giving us the stewards, PJ and Joe and all the lads there and Pat Hogan and all that, uh, you know, we can't do this on our own. I want to thank the Garda Shikhanov as well for coming out and keeping us uh, safe here uh, uh, at the side of the road here. Um, I, I, I probably left somebody out, but if I did, I, I'm extremely sorry. I just want to say one thing. I was here one day with a mixer, a small mixer, and the bloody thing wouldn't start. And I had one sho and I had a shovel. It was Michael McTighe's mixer, actually. But, uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway, I was here anyway, and I knew I was going to have a bad day, or it seemed. And Michael O'Keefe came out the road there in a chariot, or it, it looked like a chariot. I think it was a Zephyr tractor. And he had a big mixer, and he had sand. And he stayed with me all day, and we got the job done. So Michael, thanks very much. You saved my bacon. That's it for certain, you know. But that's the type of pe pe uh, people we have here in Kilnamona. They come around and they get by. And so many people from Kilnamona donated huge sums of money and helped us in many other ways as well. And the people of Ina as well were very great, uh, gracious when we were up in Ina the night we had there. And people all over the county there and, and all and th different parts of Ireland as well. And America, our cousins, the McTighes and the Breens in America. Uh, my cousins are home from England, Brian and, and, uh, and Angela Rin came home from London last night. Uh, I've a lot of cousins in London, thanks to all my cousins and the Howards in London and the Rins in Salisbury. Uh, they all couldn't be here, but uh, really grateful that they, that they subscribed to our, uh, to our event here today. Um, uh, next, I'm going to call upon uh, the mayor who's wearing the chains of office here, that's uh, Claire Carlin Malay, to come up and say a few words for us, Claire. <laughs> Th thanks for lowering it for me. I appreciate that. I'll be very, very fast. As Councillor Mary Hard just said, be fast and sweet now because the rain is ominous looking. But I'll tell you something. I am very, very happy to be here. This has been a project in the making for the past three years, isn't it, Nicholas? And you should be so proud to have this to pay uh, uh, as a tribute to um, to the great bowled Mike McTighe, world champion. As the mayor of the Ennis Municipal District and on behalf of the elected members in Ennis, it gives me great, great pleasure to be here with you today and to see this day finally arrive for where an appropriate and fitting honour is bestowed on world champion boxer Mike McTighe. Mike was looking over us yesterday as the sun shone on the parade, but I don't know, he might just keep shining now and hope that rain stays away. As I mentioned, there's been many years of work undertaken uh, to have us arrive here today at Kilnamona Cross by committee members Kevin Keane, a proud Kilnamona man, by Antoinette McCormack, grandniece of Mike, 
by Kevin Wren, grand nephew of, of, of Mike, and by Nicholas Wren, grand nephew of Mike. And of course, Michael McTighe, a distant relative, an excellent artist, which we will all be a witness to momentarily. This is a beautifully crafted memorial. I had a little peek of it uh, during the week and I can only say that it is going to be an outstanding piece of art here in, in Kilnamona to honour Mike McTighe's um, incredible legacy. It will bear well the passage of time as will the oak tree. That was, isn't it an oak yes. that was planted? An oak tree over across the way that was planted in the past couple of weeks to again pay homage to the great, um, to the great Mike McTighe. I want to, where's Ashleen, my little Grand Marshal, where is she? I want to pay uh, honour to Ashleen, she did proud her family as was my, mentioned by Nicholas a moment ago and uh, I hope that that will of course be something she will forever ch cherish having been a Grand Marshal. We don't have to remember all the great titles that Mike McTighe, Mike, Mike, Mike McTighe won, but one that really did stand out in my mind, and it was Kevin Wren said it, is the fact that, and it was also sp uh, stated by, 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 by the first speaker, that he battled and won a world championship in a country that, uh, that was at war, and he brought peace, he unified the country momentarily, and I thought that was a beautiful image that you shared with us, Kevin. And the other thing I think we should remember, he fought for 20 rounds it's unheard of it's never been done since and I had to ask and it was Mike McTighe clarified there were three minute rounds they weren't two minute rounds so he really really fought I want to pay tribute to the boxers that are here today I think there's such an incredible renewed interest in the in the sport both for men and for women so I like the way you pointed out to the girls as, pot as potential future boxers and winners if I might just a final couple of words I'm aware of the generosity and the support of the people of Kilnamona and its environs that has contributed greatly to the success of this effort to honour the bold Mike McTighe. The fondness that I personally feel as a, as a Colleran girl raised in Quinn for the people of Kilnamona is born of the close family connection to the Nocturns of Kilnamona. I pay respects to the great departed Eileen Nocton, sadly missed by family and the wider community here in Kilnamona, and without whose support I would never have had the confidence to enter public life and I would not be here today to speak to you as the Mayor of Innes Municipal District. She would be very proud of Kilnamona today and so should you all be. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks very much, Claire. And um, I just want to mention Cecilia McTighe, who is Mike McTighe's granddaughter, and she lives in Yall in County Cork. And she was to be here today, and we're very sorry that she, she had a slight accident and she couldn't make it here today. But Cecilia is uh, fiercely proud of her of her um, of her grandfather, and uh, we'd have loved to have had her here today. So just. Uh, wish Cecilia uh, a speedy recovery and hopefully we'll see her in Kildamona very soon. Um, I'd also like to welcome another boxer here, Lewis Griffin, who is here. He's a champion boxer. I just come up. He's, this man is uh, from in a so he walked down today. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Michael McTighe for the invite to this event. It's a great event for a great boxer and it's brilliant for the community of Kilnamona. Thanks. Thanks very much. So, uh, if I left you out, I'm very sorry, but uh, Michael McTighe uh, will bring up the rear, I'm sure. Uh, Michael uh, fashioned this this uh, stone uh, about three weeks ago. I called into Michael's yard, and there was only a name up on top. And I just had a, a vision of him here, about five to two, finishing it off. <laughs> but uh, we got this, we got this kids under him anyway. Uh, he's done a wonderful job, and he's been very professional. Michael is a. Uh, uh, well known in political circles as well and uh, he's, he's, he's a great killer monument down through the years uh, I'll hand you over to Michael uh, In respect to getting this done you know every time myself and John Telt you get drunk we were planning this with the last 30 years it would never have happened until Nicholas got the skids under us uh, your father must be dead 30 years and he used to say yourself and Telt you'll be talking about it again when you go to a wedding or something <laughs> Uh, I'm surprised nobody told this story. Uh, it came from Nicholas's uncle, Mikey Irene, who was uh, Mike McTighe's nephew. And 
Mikey Rain, he once went to visit Jack Dempsey in New York and he put it to Jack Dempsey like, you know, I don't know to be able to be, be, be at Mike McTighe. And Jack Dempsey says, I would if I could hit him. <laughs> <laughs> he was quite an elusive character. Um, I think I think you've covered about everything, you know. Uh, Louis made the best speech of the day, it was a shot. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was a song written a um, good few years ago, and we'll probably wrap it up with this. Um, uh, it was a big hit for the Claire Kells. I'm very pleased to say my son Tony plays the banjo in the original recording of that. But um, Frank Conway wrote it in the mic, so we'll see if we can get through this, if I can remember it. Oh, the Battle of the Titans, last in all of twenty rounds, took place on Patrick's feast day for the world boxing crown. A battle in man named Psyche was world champion bright, but he wasn't that much anymore at the end of that great fight. Loud cheers of brave oh Mike to the tumult of the crowd. Face and Psyche's iron fist, McTighe was never coward. Mike, Mike, the mighty roar. At the final round, McTighe was world champion and would sing his praise and song. Of Clare and Kilnamona, no one knew back then. But Mike McTighe, he changed all that on Paddy's night be ten. On distant hills of Bonfers blaze, tongues of fire so bright, Mike was world champion champion and sure Claire was ablaze with light. Loud cheers and brave oh Mike the tumult of the crowd. Face and Psyche's iron fist McTighe was never coward. Mike, Mike the mighty roar at the final round. McTighe was world champion and will sing his praise and song. Now one hundred years ago that day McTighe he fought with pride. The first time in a long time that the Irish were one side when Kippen stepped into the ring he lifted him on high a terrible fire in Cornhill it killed them on the skies then sailing on a liner back to New York made his way the fighting 69th were there to march him down the quay in Georgia he fought Stribling and he fought the Ku Klux Klan in Boxing's golden era bold Mike fought 200 men in Georgia he fought Stribblin and he fought the Ku Klux Klan in Boxing's golden era bold Mike fought 200 men <laughs> Fantastic Michael thanks very much great singing uh, absolutely great uh, I just want to thank Martin Command there he gave us the use of his uh, pitch and put course in there to park not on the course but on the car park <laughs> And uh, and I'd like to thank uh, Fr St. Francis Credit Union as well. Give us a big donation and they look after our money as well. It all went in there and, and they've been very helpful to us as well. So I'd, I'd, I'd like to thank them. And uh, as I look around there, I see Frank Cullen, I see uh, Bernie Fitzpatrick, Miles Cullen, John Hart. There's many more lads that I play at Hurdle with. And I'm delighted to cheer here today to share this, this day. Um, that's the graveyard up there. All Mike McTighe's relatives are, are buried up on that hill. So it's very fitting that they will be able to look down here and see this monument that we put up to him. And uh, all the McTighe's and all the Rins and all the Breens and all the relatives that are here today and scattered around the world are extremely proud of Mike McTighe and what he achieved. Not just as a boxer, but what he achieved as a man as well. He was, an, he, he was some man to just walk down that road there and head it for Cove or, and head it uh, to, the, to the new world, as they call it, in, and become a world champion boxer. He took a special type of man. I would like to think that, he, that he, what he learned in life, he learned it here in Kilnamona. We've all learned our stuff here in Kilnamona and we've gone forward out into the world uh, uh, because of what is in this parish. There's great heart and great spirit and great culture, as Mel, as Mel referred to, and uh, that's what I'm extremely proud of, as the people of Kilnamona. Uh, in 1995, a man came down that hill there, and he headed off for Croke Park, and to add to his Munster Championship medal, he came back with an All-Ireland medal. And he wasn't happy with that, he went off and won two more Munster medals, and he won another All-Ireland medal. 
and I'll tell you one thing, it takes a special type of men to do something like that. We're immensely proud of Michael McTighe, but I tell you, in 1995, we were so proud when Fergal came up that road with the McCarthy Cup, and I'm, there was nobody else we wanted to get to do the honours of opening, of unveiling our plaque today, but the great Fergal Hagerty, a great friend of ours. I'm glad to say I, I actually hurled with your father, I think he's here as well, and I played a small little bit with you as well, but uh, I was trying to catch up to you, but anyway. Uh, so I'll introduce you now to Fergal Hagerty, who's going to do the honours. Uh, Fergal, if you will. Sorry to butt in for a second. I just want to acknowledge the presence of the Clare legend, Nacy Jordan, who pioneered the erection of the Michael Cusick statue. And uh, he helped me. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Nicholas. Um, Louis made a short speech. I'll do, do better than that. I'll, do, I'll keep it shorter. Uh, just a huge thanks, a uh, huge honour to be asked uh, here today. Uh, thanks to the committee, the, uh, Kevin Keane, um, Mike McTighe, Nicholas and, and the others, sorry for leaving you out. Um, huge honour, as I said. It's great to see so many uh, people here, so many descendants directly from of, of Michael McTighe. This was the McTighe name, as we all know, synonymous with Kilimona over the years, not alone in boxing, but in tug of war, etc. The Rin family, uh, synonymous with Hurling in the parish. And the Nealan family, Mike McTighe's mother was Nealan, and I'm delighted to see another descend direct descendant of, of the Nealan family here. He was a great man in so inside and outside the ring. The great John Telty is here, so. <laughs> um, Thanks very much, uh, a huge honour, and I think it's a great, it, it's something that we can enjoy. We all grew up in stories of, of Mike McTighe, what a great, wonderful boxer he was, an ambassador of Kilimona, a proud Kilimona man. And any time you're passing here, isn't it lovely that we have something now to honour him, honour him 100 years later to the day. I think it's credit to the, the committee. They worked very hard here. I could see them, uh, I'm ashamed to say I didn't come down and use the shovel myself, but uh, <laughs> Nicholas, Mike O'Keefe, they were here day and night, and obviously Mike McTighe, so credit to them and thanks very much thanks. Uh, thanks very much I forgot to mention my neighbours the Pelkintons as well they were great hurlers with me as well <laughs> Uh, so Fergal is now going to unveil uh, this uh, if Michael hasn't decided down too well <laughs> Uh, well, well done, Fergal. Thanks very much, uh, Fergal. A great honour to have you here today, Fergal, to do the honours. And it'll go down in history now that you were here today. Um, I don't have anything else to say that you'd be glad to hear. I am, I'm so glad that the rain stayed away. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, I just can't... Uh, last, the last thing. Antoinette McCormack. Uh, she's on camera there at the moment. <laughs> Uh, Antoinette just wants to make a small presentation here to, uh, <laughs> she's talking out at the, as we speak. <laughs> she's just going to make a, a small uh, presentation to Claire Carlin Mulay, the Mayor of Innes. Uh, so, uh, congratulations uh, Claire. No, Michael McTighe, have I anybody else left out? <laughs> Did you mention me? I mentioned Michael, yeah, it is. <laughs> As I said, if I left anyone out, I'm extremely sorry. I didn't write out any speech. I, do, I don't write out speeches. I'm not able to be quite honest. But uh, I, I, I will say this, that I am thanks everybody for coming here. It's great to see the people. Pe uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I know I'd forget somebody. Gavin Grace is here, uh, well known from Clare FM and, and beyond. Gavin is a lot rare man. He's now a, a citizen of Clare, I think, at the moment. <laughs> Uh, his wife's not happy with him because he left home today. His son is not feeling that well, but he That's came his down. <laughs> it's, and, it's, and it's his son's birthday, so yeah, I don't know how he's going to get back home. But uh, <laughs> but Gavin is doing a documentary as well, and uh, we're hoping to have that released in May. In May. So thanks very much, Gavin. You're a, a great help to us as well. Thanks very much. Uh, so that's it, I have to wrap it up now. It's all yes, sorry, Father Sean Sexton's got the blessed to store, so. <laughs> the most important man of all. Otherwise it might fall.
I will be further. Yeah. Ready to go. Okay. Yeah. Sorry for holding you a little longer, but you at least you got great, great quality speeches before I came on the scene. I'm just taking seeing the crowds here and all the traffic that has been held up between the time and the Dennis. They'll all be busted to come back and see what brought us all here. <laughs> <laughs> and then when the tourists come, I'd say that'd be a great place for uh, sandwiches and maybe a little pub for a while or something. This will be the new center of Kildamona. And certainly, Kildamona is today telling you all who passed this way what a remarkable tribute there is to an amazing man. So we just have a simple blessing, a few lines. Loving God, you made all things through your son. You created beauty to give us joy and to lead us to love you. Listen to our prayers for all workers, for all voluntary people who have come together, for the artists and the beautiful work that is made available to everybody on this day. Lord, let your spirit continue to shower his gifts on them and so bring us all to you. Father, we ask this grace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. I go to spatter the holy water on my I very much take this. Thanks very much, Father Sean. Yeah. So uh, all that remains though is we have a bit of food up in the hall and a bit of music as well. Nula and and the lads are called upon again. And uh, thanks very much. And uh, you can get your pictures whatever taken later on. I won't be signing any autographs today, but I'll meet you in the good house. <laughs> so thanks everyone, and uh, great to have you all here today. Make sure to make your way up to Kilnamona to the community centre. Thanks very much. Get the boys in for a picture. Right. Yeah. 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 Sean, come in. Yeah. 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 Just bring this behind. Yeah. So you are right. just behind, thanks. How are you? Not too